Now they say so much without ever actually saying a word. Sign language interpreters are just as much part of the front lines these days, making sure our deaf community stays informed. Mike McDaniel introduces us to one woman playing a big role for a community that hangs on to every word. From hurricanes to COVID-19, she's a consistent part of news conferences around New Orleans. We know this is our time. Using her hands and expressions to relay the spoken word to a community that may never hear it in times of emergency. This information is vital that they aware, just like a hearing person is aware, what's happening firsthand. Raised by deaf parents' sign language is Sherry Bernius's first language. Now administrator of the Deaf Action Center, a program of Catholic charities, she's been signing professionally for 41 years. That. It's the people I grew up with. It's the culture I know best and most comfortable in. Lisa. Watching every sign is Lisa Dragna from New Orleans, found to be completely deaf at the age of three. When I was growing up, I went to an oil school and um, so I have to learn how to lip read almost every day. I went to speech therapy. As a teenager, she learned sign language and got involved with the deaf community. Now, as an advocate, she pushes for interpreters to be a part of any public speaking, especially during emergencies. I feel that whoever is speaking, whether it's the mayor, the governor, or, or anybody, that the interpreter should be right next to them. That hasn't always been the case. Bernius says Hurricane Katrina was an eye-opener. There were several incidents where deaf people were loaded on a bus, had no idea where they were going, why they were being shifted to another state. Since then, Bernius says the Deaf Action Center helped lead the charge to make sure news conferences like the ones we see today include interpreters. To folks like Dragna, uh, thank you very much. It's a sign of inclusion we can all understand. Mike McDaniel, Eyewitness News. Well, the Deaf Action Center also provides services to the deaf community for things like doctor's appointments and court proceedings.